guys, what's up? It has been a hot minute since I filmed. I'm tired. <laughs> um, ignore my mess of hair. It's just whatever today. I took a nap, and this is what happens afterwards. So, moving on to this video, I am doing, as you can tell by the title, a brow tutorial for you guys, kind of. Um, my friend actually requested me to do this. Which I was like, do you not understand that I suck at brows? But I'm expanding my life with brows, so it's okay. Um, ignore my cat in the background. But again, you know. So just jumping into this video like right away. Um, I'm going to talk about three things and then do a demo of one of those three things. So the first thing is that when I was a beginner, wait a minute, I still am a beginner. When I first started doing brows, I really just stuck to like a color tint to my brows. I didn't fill them in. Um, if I'm lazy, I still don't fill them in. I just use something like this is the Maybelline Brow Drama in the shade 255 Soft Brown. It's just a tint for your brows. It kind of gives them some extra color. It does not fill them in or anything. It just gives them the extra tint that they need. Um, so I use this when I like very first time into brows. And then I also. If I don't feel like filling them in, I sometimes use a clear brow gel. Maybelline also sells one. I just can't find my other one. It's by like, I don't know what brand it is. It came in like one of my subscriptions. Um, it just has like the brow gel on it and it's clear. Not a big deal, just clear, just goes on there. Whatever else. Benefit, so this would be like drugstore. If you're looking for a high-end brow tint kind of thing, the Benefit Gimme Brow looks like so this is just a little sample size this came in my um, ipsy bag I believe so I've been using this I've been loving it I actually um, once I go through this and my other one that I can't buy right now I'm actually gonna purchase this because I absolutely love this stuff so much and the color they gave me was like a very light a very light brown um, but it works, I guess. Let me just. The third option is to actually fill in your brows. I have a couple pencils right here with me. So, drugstore, complete drugstore, like you probably could buy it at like, Target, is the um, Eyes, Lips, Face, also known as ELF Cosmetics, has the instant lip brow pencil. So, one side is the spoolie, where you put your, like, you lift your brows up, and the other side is the actual product. This is in. It's taupe. Pretty sure. Um, or as if I've been using, I use the Beach Cosmetics HD Brow Pencil. Their Studio Pro line. It also has the product on one side. This is in, I think, soft brown. I don't know how it works. Unless I have the spoolie side. And then also, what came in my. Boxy Time or Birch Box was a brand called Shella. You know, it may have been Ipsy even, I don't know. This is the Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Color Crayon. Let's fix it. So just a couple options out there. Um, so I'm going to fill in my eyebrows for you guys on camera. I know I mentioned, um, what was it? So I didn't show you guys this routine that I do in my graffiti nudes palette look I said I'm going to save it, save it for a different video well this is the video so here we go so first off I'm going to take the other side the spoolie side and just I'll lift my brows up and um I just trimmed my brows I use a I don't even know what it's called but it's like it's from the brand Bella I got it at TJ Maxx for like six bucks Best thing I've ever had in my life. Guys, stop it. Um, it's the best thing I've ever had in my life. It works better than the one that I bought for $13 Target that would not start with any better I put in there. So yes. So I just trim them. I kind of keep, you know, more blocky in the front and then smooth out as it goes this way. Today I kind of just trimmed a little too much on this brow here, so we're gonna make it work. So what I do is I take a handy mirror. It's right in front of me. And I kind of just 
very light handedly. I kind of you know, give this a lot of product like up. And I just very lightly start like in the middle and kind of just make small little strokes. Come on, focus. Alright, there we go. And I kind of move towards my end of. Guys, stop. Hey, don't lay over there. Okay. What kind of video would this be if I didn't yell at my cats? Like, I wouldn't be a veil video at all. <laughs> just again. So I'm just going to finish filling this in a little bit here. Small little strokes. And this, like, personally when I'm doing this, I actually like make sure that I get the hairs down. I don't know why, I just do. And then I'm gonna kind of more like with the tip of the pencil, fill in that brow in there. And I'm gonna start back up here. And you're really light handed up here. And I just go darker this way. And if you get product up there, it's okay. It blends in. Don't be freaked out. Alright. So it looks like that. It's a hot mess. It's okay. Take the spoolie side and just brush all that product through. Just continue to fill in my brows. Like I'm not the best with this, I am still definitely learning. Um, but I do think now that I've played with a lot of makeup, that I've started YouTube, you know, a lot of factors that have changed the way I do certain things with my makeup. Um, I think that I'm, I like filling in my brows now, like this one, part of this one. Um, it definitely gives a definition to your look. So I'm all for filling in my brows now. Like it just something that I have to do when I do makeup. But like if I'm not doing makeup guys, my brows are wretched. <laughs> That's the best way I can put that out there. Alright, so I'm going to go on my other eye. Now this one is a little bit more different. Um when I was trimming them, I cut this one more square and this one just had a moment, I guess. I don't know. This one is more square, so it's kind of easier to just kind of fill this one in. I know I'm in and out of focus, I'm sorry. I'm not focus. And I've seen a lot of people like kind of draw up here and do different things with their brows. Um, whatever you feel comfortable with brows is definitely like up to you. This personally is just my comfort zone. I mean, I would like to really get, you know, those nice, not like blocky brows, but kind of more like filled in and looking a little bit better. But this is what I'm comfortable with right now. And I think it looks good with my makeup, so. That's what I said. No, normally I do my brows, um, like before my lipstick and before I stir my face and before I finish my eyes. Just because I'm weird, that's just like my routine. But today I am the fair face doing this for you guys because why not? You can start, you can do any order of your own makeup any way you want to. There are no rules you have to do prior. Okay. Always start with primer for foundation. You don't got to do like foundation first or anything like that. You can do whatever you want to do first. Like you can do your eyes first, you can do your brows first, you can do your foundation first. You can do... Whatever you want to do first. Look, like, there is just no rule to makeup. It's how you perceive it. Just always remember that. So now I'm going to take the Benefit Guinea Brow in this brownie color and just kind of go through this. Now this has a natural tint to it. So you guys can see that my eyes are getting a little bit darker. Stubborn hair right there. There we go. And this gives it definitely a lot more color. But also helps the brows to stay in place. And another like drugstore one besides the Maybelline one, I think it's also Maybelline and it's like the, the pink bottle of the Great Lashes, but it's clear. It's clear mascara. You can definitely use that to set your eyebrows. It's definitely a fantastic dupe for high end of stuff. So, that is it for my brows. Um, I don't know what's going on with this, with my brows right now. <laughs> they look whatever it's fine 
so uh, this is it for my brows personally um they're never gonna be the same they're never gonna be twins it'd be nice if they were twins but they're gonna be sisters and that's fine and one's a little better than the other and that's fine um i don't personally like clean up under my brows because i don't make a mess when i do my brows like not to sound like you know whatever like sound good about my own brows but like i don't make a mess because i'm not one to like really in depth like get into my brows i kind of just film it a little bit give some color definition call it a day but if you are one that you can like really do your brows and like that's your thing good for you like i give you so much credit because brows are like a fearful thing for me so let's try just do kind of minimal and basic things um if you were to like clean up underneath your brows you take some concealer and concealer brush and little strokes go underneath it and just clean it up give your um end of your tail end of your tail, end of your brow tail, um, some definition, you know, a little bit more like, definition would be the word I guess, a little bit more like an arch kind of thing with your brows, um, up underneath, you know, so, yes, there are many things to do with the brows, but this is my personal preference of doing my brows, and before I keep rambling about brows, I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you next one, bye guys.